Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at some examples illustrating some slightly complicated periodic signals. The first example is given two signals x of n and y of n which are both periodic, we want to determine the condition under which the sum z of n is equal to x of n plus y of n is periodic. That is, we want to determine the condition under which this sum is periodic. So, since x of n and y of n are periodic, then x of n is, should be equal to x of n plus n1, where n1 is the period of x of n. In this case, n1 is the fundamental period of x of n. And for y of n, the fundamental period is given by n2. Now, the sum z of n will be equal to z of n plus capital N, where capital N is the fundamental period of z of n, if and only if the n is equal to a multiple of n1 and also equal to a multiple of n2. If this condition holds, then the sum z of n is periodic and the, p the fundamental period of the sum is given by uh, these multiples that is n1 into n1, small n1 into capital N1 and small n2 into capital N. Now let us look at a second example. Given two signals x of t equal to cos of 2 pi t by 3 plus sine of excuse me 2 times sine of 16 pi t by 3. And the second signal y of t is given by sine of Pi t. Now we want to determine the period of the product z of t defined as x of t multiplied by y of t, which is clearly equal to the product of cos of 2 pi over 3 into t plus 2 times sine of 16 pi over 3 into t multiplied by sine of pi t. Next by using the standard trigonometric formulae, we can rewrite this product as follows. The product of the cos of 2 pi by 3 into t with sine of pi t becomes 1 by 2 multiplied by sine of 5 pi by 3 into t plus sine of pi by 3 into t. This is basically 2 times sine j cos b where a is equal to pi t and b is equal to 2 pi by 3 into t. So, by using that formula, we have the first component. And for the second component, we already have 2 sin j sin b, which is equal to cos of the difference between the angles. That is, in this case, the, different the difference between the arguments of the sine function. So, which is equal to 13 by 3 into pi t. And the second one is sum of the arguments, which is cos of a plus b, which is 19 by 3 pi t. So, the sum of these four sinusoids is the function or the signal z of t. Now, we can compare this summation to the standard Fourier series type summation, which is equal to the sum k a k sin of 2 pi k by t into t, where capital T will be the period of the signal plus the sum l b l cos of 2 pi l by t small t, where small t is the time. Now, we have to determine the value of the period capital T, the fundamental period capital T. You can simply determine those values by comparing the frequencies or the arguments of the sinusoid. For the first one, you can clearly see that 5 pi by 3 corresponds to 2 pi into 5 divided by 6. That means t is equal to 6. And the next value clearly corresponds to pi by 3 corresponds to 2 pi over 6 into 1. Again t, again t is equal to 6. And the next two values corresponds to 13 by 3 into pi is equal to 2 pi by 6 into 30. And finally, 19 by 3 into pi corresponds to 2 pi by 6 into 9. Therefore, the value of a5 is equal to 1 by 2 and a1 is also equal to 1 by 2. b 
13 is equal to 1 and b 19 is also equal to 1 and all the other values of a's and b's are zeros. Therefore, the period t is equal to 6 and the frequencies are the yeah and the frequencies are for sinusoids they are equal to k equal to 1 and k equal to 5 and for the cosines it is the values of l are 13 and 19 and the, all the other values of b's that is b1 to b12 and b14 to b18 and b20 to b20 21 and so on are all zeros now let us look at the python code to see that the period of this signal z of t is indeed equal to 6 so since x of t is equal to this sum and sum of a cosine and a sinusoid cosine and a sine and y of t is equal to sine of pi t and z of t is given by this product now we can plot this function z of t by simply using the product of x and y in this python code now by simply executing this python code we can see the result that is the plot of z of t we can see that the first peak occurs at 1.37 the second peak occurs at 7.37 and the third one at 13.37 and so on so clearly the fundamental period of this product is equal to 6 thanks for watching